the truth about advertising and marketing. In this video, I want to talk about affiliate program. I'm going to show you an example of an agreement. Most of the time, if you are talking that uh, if you have affiliate program at a big company, most of the time you find this kind of agreement of these kind of terms in the terms of the company. That's simple. So, if you want to know more about it, yeah, keep on watching. If you don't, go do something else. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> So uh, welcome, like I said, we're going to talk about the affiliate program and it's important that you need to understand a couple of things like the basic of agreement. I'm not going to discuss the whole agreement with you because uh, it's a waste of your time and most things you can read it, but I want to discuss the situation with you and what's really important when you're making that agreement. I'm not saying you always have to put it in your contract. I'm not saying those are the most important things. I'm just saying, hey watch out for these things that's simple okay um let's start first with the um let's start first with the um what the situation is and then we're gonna um, dive into the contract or let's say agreement if i talk about contract or agreement it's the same yeah there's a difference between these words contract is the whole thing agreement is an agreement in the contract does mean right yeah i think so but uh yeah Okay, let's start first with uh, drawing the situation. And what you need to understand is when you have a company, sometimes people refer people to you and you want to give them a percent of the, let's say the profit of the um, revenue. So imagine you are selling, um, let's say boats. I'm bringing a client, you give me, let's say 20% or 25, yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, let's say 20% so you are giving me 20% yeah but selling a boat is a one time thing two time things uh, you don't have a lot of uh, you do not do that, you do not do that often that's simple so but uh, what if you are selling small products so if you have uh, you're selling small products you hire some people to sell it for you you are giving them let's say 20% 10% of the uh, revenue and the question is, um, what should you do? Thing is, you can make an agreement with them. It's as simple as they, if they refer someone to you, okay, so if they refer, some, refer someone to you and they buy something for you, then they get the compensation. See what I'm saying? If they only refer and they do not buy, don't give them, um, uh, don't give them the compensation, uh, unless it depends on your branch, but don't give them, you don't have to give them. So uh, that's a really important thing. And when do you receive the compensation? And um, yeah, how, how high is the compensation? Those things are really important. It's important to have that in your contract. And it's also important to have that um, when someone apply for your affiliate program. So if you have an affiliate program, so uh, I advise you to do that. If you have an affiliate program, it's just setting it up and making some rules. If someone wants to participate in an affiliate program, they need to meet certain kind of requirements. Do not let everybody sell your um, product because that's bad. Why is that bad? Look, think about it. If someone is bad with a bad reputation, sell your product, they can damage your reputation. We're gonna also talk about trademark. But uh, you understand the situation so far? Okay. Now you understand the situation. Let's dive to the, let's dive into the um, agreement. As you can see here, this is the contract and uh, contract look like this. I'm not going to show you all the contract. If you want it, just be on Patreon. And if you have, uh, let's say if you have access to it, you can download it. If you, have, if you are Patreon and you have access to it, you can download it and you can use it for yourself. It's that simple. So um, you see, this is the affiliate program. And uh, I want to discuss something like the compensation and what it is. I already told you what situation you can use it. If you're selling a product or if you're providing certain kind of service, someone is refer someone to you, you can give them a uh, present. If they do it every time, then you can offer them this contract. So, um, affiliate program, and, and uh, like I said, you can make a program, but uh, what I really find interesting is, like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole contract, you can download it yourself and read it. Okay. 
Let's talk about compensation. Commission will be paid to the recipient based upon the present sale made to the user who access owner size to the recipient website. It's simple. So if you have a company and someone refers someone to you and you have agreement with them, as soon as they enter your website and order something, then you need to pay them. The question is, uh, what, what, why do I find this important? You need to make sure that it's clear what the compensation is because sometimes people do not do that. Is it compensation including the cost or is compensation excluding the cost? That's a big difference because if you're making some cost and you're giving some compensation, you're losing. And what I'm trying to say, you need to make sure that you know what kind of compensation you are giving. And this is one of example. Commission will be calculated based upon the gross sales price, but not including any shipping and handling, sales tax, special service, such as uh, gift wrapping or parking. You see that? This is a smart move. Okay. You're giving commission, but you need to remove all the other costs. You understand that? Okay. Because if you do not do that, then your profit is going to be low and uh, you don't want that. Okay. So this is something you need to consider. There are also other, um, let's say, terms of uh, agreement in this contract about it. You can read it. I'm not going to discuss everything with you. But uh, the, most important, the most important stuff I'm going to discuss with you. Trademark and copyrights. Thing is, when you have a product, you have copyright and sometimes trademark. And they need to have an, uh, permission to use or name your product when they are trying to promote it or talk about it. And I talk about this, you don't need permission, but if they are talking about it or they are helping you promoting it, if they do it regularly as a business concept, you need to give them permission. And in this uh, contract, you can uh, see how they are giving permission. And when you give permission, you need to watch out for the word non-exclusive and exclusive. <coughs> and what I mean by that is simple. The word exclusive means they are the only one that sells the product for you, no one else. And they give you non-exclusive, that means you can also give permission to the other person. So watch out for that. So uh, let's look at an example. The recipient will have a non-exclusive limited term license to use trademark, logos, and copyright material that the owner provides to the recipient for the use solely on the homepage that the recipient designed in the recipient affiliate pro program application. You see that? So you design a website based on this contract and uh, you will get the material to promote the product and you can put it on your website. So you need to give people non-exclusive permission to use it. It's that simple. But imagine if you are a, a marketing um, company, you need to make sure that you have the permission and what the permission is. In this contract, they talk about it. I'm not going to discuss everything with you, but I'm just going to give you a clear view of what it is. But based on this, you can have, um, have a valid uh, contract to use. But uh, another point that I find really interesting and um, really important, in my opinion, responsibility. The thing is, um, responsibility is a big word and not everyone is taking that seriously, but uh, let's break it down. Um, you need to understand a couple of things and I'm going to be real with you about this. When you are a company and someone is representing your product, make sure that they're doing it right. If it's necessary, make some rules about it. The reason why I'm saying this is they're using your logo, your name. As soon as they damage your name or logo, it can have a huge impact on your company. And the question is, do you want that? I don't. So, what you need to do is, or what I um, tell you to do is, not tell is not a good word, but let's say advise you, but I'm not giving you really advice because I do not know everything about your company, but uh, a piece of advice, eh? think about it who you hire and think about what you do, what they're allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. Because as soon as they do something wrong and do not take responsibility for it, then you are sitting with the damage. And a nice example is, okay, Imagine I'm product, um, producing, I am representing your product. I did something wrong, it damaged your company and your company wants to get that damage from me because I did something wrong. And I'll be like, no, right? I'm not going to take responsibility for that. You see what happens, right? You need to make sure that you have rules about that. So a nice example is the recipient is responsible for all matters 
pertaining to the recipient's own website, including its own developer, maintains operation, and placing links on the recipient website in compliance with the terms of the um, affiliate program. And also, if I make my own website, I'm responsible for those kind of things. Yeah. So uh, responsibility is really important. As you can see, there's more uh, terms about responsibility, but watch out for that. Yeah. I really made it. And if you want to get rid of someone, make some rules about it. Fine example is the recipient will forfeit all rights to receive past commission that may have occurred to the recipient if this agreement is determined as a result of the recipient receiving a failure to comply with the terms of this agreement or any policy or produce of the affiliate program that may establish and amend by the owner in its direction from time to time. So if you break up okay, and um, you make some rule what happened when you break up do they receive compensation or not and most of the thing you can find it in this uh, agreement <laughs> so uh, like i said i'm not going to discuss this with you otherwise there will be a long video but uh let's break it down when you when you have a company and uh you want to um hire someone to be the affiliate so you have an affiliate program it's important to make some rules and make sure that you uh, talk about compensation, responsibility, and other stuff. Because if you don't do that, people can misuse it and it can damage your company. So if you want this uh, contract uh, and you want to use it, be a, become, become a Patreon member and uh, you can download it and then uh, use it for your own good. If you have question about it or if you want someone to build an affiliate program for you or someone to make a specific contract for you, feel free to contact me. And I see you in the next video.